what's up everybody the weekend's almost here and we're back with another video this week i'm actually doing a cooking segment so we're going to check that out right after this Good morning everybody I planned on cooking outside but as you can see it is raining so I'm going to be cooking breakfast with you this morning inside um, we're actually having a breakfast with some of the other um, people at the uh, campground this morning so I decided that I was going to make the uh, pound cake French toast now this is something I just planned for me and David until they asked us over for breakfast so i've never had it before so i hope it's good so we're going to try it so i'm going to um actually cut up uh, slices of the uh, of the pound cake and in this bowl i have a mixture of three eggs one and a half cups of milk and then i added a little bit of uh, cinnamon sugar so i'm going to cut this up dip it in the batter and then fry it on the uh fry it on the griddle so here we go and wish me luck. <laughs> okay, now that my pill cake's all cut up, I'm going to spray my griddle. And I'm going to quickly coat the pound cake both sides Okay, you're supposed to cook it for two and a half minutes on each side, so I'm going to start flipping them over. It smells really good. If it's half as good as it smells, we're in for a treat. And you guys know, I love to eat. Y'all know that already. Now, I actually got the family size um, pound cake, but there was a lot of batter that was left. So, this would probably cook um, two family size pound cakes. Because this is just one. Man, that smells good. So I'm gonna let this cook for two and a half minutes on this side as well. And then Dave and I are gonna share a small little piece since that we have to take this over to another site for breakfast this morning. So um, after this is done, we'll, we'll taste it together. Too bad you can't have some. And we'll let you know truthfully what it's like. Okay, now it's done on both sides. I'm just going to take it out and put it, in a, put it in a pan. Now it also says for the topping, you could use um, a raspberry or mint sauce. And there was recipes for that as well. But of course, do you think I checked that out before I left to come camping? No. All I saw was pound cake and French toast. And that was all I saw. So therefore, I didn't get the ingredients for the raspberry or mint sauce which i would have chosen the raspberry sauce anyway but i do have raspberry jam so i'm probably going to take that down there as well but again like i said me and dave are going to take just a tiny little piece and see what it really takes tastes like but i really do wish you guys could smell this it smells phenomenal and it was really easy to make too 
I actually saw this on our local um, news channel. They, um, one of the cooks they had had made um, pound cake French toast. I was like, hey, that sounds good. So I thought I'd try it as well. So we'll be back in a minute and Dave and I are going to uh, try it out with you. All right, we're back. So here is the finished product. Let me see. Let's taste it. Oh, that is really good. There's nothing better than cake and breakfast. That is really good. You've got to try that. You will absolutely love it. What do you think, David? <laughs> oh yeah, folks. It's delicious. Oh my. Isn't that good? Awesome job, sweetie. Imagine that with some sausage and bacon. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> well, that was just a little cooking session. So, you guys try it out. And if you do, let me know what you think. So, I have some um, leftover batter. Like I said, I don't want it to go to waste. So, I'm going to uh, cook just regular French toast with that. So, um... I want to thank you guys for watching our channel and I hope you like and subscribe and here's hope that you have a wonderful weekend. See you soon. Bye. to cook it for sorry you're supposed to cook it for two and a half minutes on each side so let's flip it over and see what it looks like should I cook a little bit more